Hey gang, Rick with Let's Level Up here, and uh, I'm going to be doing another game review today. Um, this is going to be over the Imminent Domain expansion called Escalation. Again, it is published by Tasty Minstrel Games and is designed by Seth Jaffe. Now, right away out of the box, this is a, I would call it a must-have for Imminent Domain players if you're a fan of that game. Um, this is going to introduce a fifth player um, to the game, so if your game group needs uh, or likes eminent domain but there's always somebody sitting out this right here is going to fix that problem for you right away um, this is going to allow you to again, get that fifth player in it's really well balanced in addition to that there is a ton of new planet types that they reworked the warship mechanic entirely in this expansion and really provided a lot in such a small box so seth congratulations you've made another great game um, we're going to open up this box and show you what really makes escalation worth getting so right away we're going to get another player starting slash torn orders token here. Um, this is going to go into, again, the event that we're playing five characters or five players. We would have to sit a stack to shuffle to determine who gets the starting player. Um, we're also going to have our new stack of blue themed resources, or sorry, rolls here. Um, which And it comes with a whole new stack of politics cards as well. Now these rolls are going to designate, again, if it has the blue bar, that we use these in the event of playing five players. There's also a whole slew of uh, science and uh, technology enhancements here, which we'll talk about later. Um, there's going to be a whole new uh, set of planets and planet types, along with new starting planets. So we're going to actually start here and look at the new starting planets and show you some of the different advantages you have here and with the other planet stack. So again, like normal eminent domain, the starting planets dealt to a player are going to be a thicker card stock than the other ones. Um, these feel more like your would typical tokens. Um, they have the start uh, insignia here on the back of the planet. Um, and normal eminent domain, uh, sorry, when you're playing the expansion, you're going to deal one of the original starting planets to every player along with one of the advanced starting planets here from the set. And then that player is going to choose which planet they wish to start with. So let's take a look here. Uh, first and foremost, you're gonna see that this planet is going to have a two, again for the rating. Um, it's also going to be five warships or five colonies in order to settle this planet. Um, but it's going to yield two different symbols in the, uh, in the roll phase. For instance, uh, production, and colonize, survey and warfare. So those are two here, and these are advanced planets again. They, they take five to do. Let's set these down. Oh, here's one here that's going to yield uh, trade and research, and sorry, research. And then the other three planets here are all going to be two a piece two warships or two colonizations to settle. And they're gonna have one yield here, production, survey, and trade. And then they have here in the bottom left corner, they have the ability to yield any type of resource that you may need. So this again is another pretty powerful thing. And you're gonna note these planets because um, they're all the really big, almost moon looking things. So Janus, Weisbaden, and uh, Chikonos. So again, the artwork here is just great. I mean, just like all, just like Eminent Domain, the quality of components, and I found that with pretty much every Tasty Minstrel game I've played, the quality of components is second to none. Very, very, very good stock here. Now, as far as our normal planets that we're going to be adding to the planet card, there are actually some significance here in terms of mechanics. Uh, first and foremost, some planets are actually going to have an action here. So you can use this action during your action phase in order to do something. For instance, trade two resources for one influence each. Or settle one planet. Or produce two resources. And again, with a planet like this, it's got two already. This is a very powerful one. Attack one planet. Draw two cards. Collect one influence when dissenting in a warfare roll. So this is actually interesting. This is going to be a uh, almost, uh, I believe they call it a peacekeeper role. 
or peace treaty. Um, so when if, if, if my enemy uh, declares a warfare as their role and I decide to dissent and not follow, I'll get one influence for doing so. Again, you get to collect one influence for dissenting. Collect influence when dissenting in a warfare. A lot of these for the same thing. And again, different types of planets. So this is actually interesting. This is a resupply icon. So every turn during your initial starting phase, you're going to resupply on any of these symbols. And this is actually going to yield one fighter. Same with this planet and this one. And then back to our actions. So again, we either have the peacekeeping planets, we have our action planets, or we have our resupplying warfighters planets, all yielding different types and uh, still the three major, or sorry, three main types of planets. So there are a ton of new science cards and I won't bore you and go through every single one of these. I will say they add some very cool things to this. Um, one, again, they're keeping kind of with the theme of before you can buy these cards, you have to meet the planetary requirements. And uh, they've added some to the previous three, but they've also added a whole new branch. And I think I have these at the end here. Yeah, there we go. So for instance, this card here is Well-Oiled Machine, and it requires one metallic, one fertile, and one advanced planet in order for you to claim this thing. Same with Elevated Incentives and Synthesize and Annex. Um, so these all kind of require the same types of things. Uh, also, with these cards, you can actually buy these technologies now, rather than with resource, you can actually trade in your ships with the new ship mechanics built into this game, which we'll actually talk about right now. One of the brand new mechanics of this game is actually taking advantage of something that Eminent Domain did previously with its fleet resources. So before we had three different types of ships, and you may remember this from the other video, um, but uh, the three different types of ships, the fighters, the destroyers, and the battle cruisers, they were all kind of weighted the same. So it didn't matter what size ships you had. In Escalation, we've actually taken advantage of those resources and actually given them some weight. And um, every player is going to start out with a basic fleet card. Now the basic fleet has two actions that you can do. You can trade any three small fighters for one destroyer, which is the middle sized one, and any two destroyers for one battle cruiser, which is a huge, which is one of the, is the biggest ship, and also is going to yield two influence at the end of the game for every battle cruiser that you have. It also, if you have a battle cruiser, it takes negative one fighters to all warfare cost when a battle cruiser is in play. So which means if you have a planet that you're attacking that has a uh, warfare cost of five and you have four uh, fighters, you can take over that planet if you have a battle cruiser. There's also the ability here called Improved Fleet. Now this allows you when leading or following a resource role, you can pay three technology or pay three resources or three fighters to research Improved Fleet. And when you do that, you flip this card over and then you gain improved actions based upon the fleet mechanic. So for instance, rather than just being able to do one, cru uh, one cruiser, sorry, one destroyer for three fighters, I can do any two fighters, any number of them for any number of uh, battle cruisers. So if I did 16 fighters, I would get eight battle cruisers after the one, sorry, not battle cruisers, destroyers after the one action. And again, I can still yield uh, two destroyers for my one cruiser, only this time it's going to be negative two to all warfare costs. And I have a new action here called Primary Weapon, which allows me to trade any cruiser and immediately take over a hostile planet. Now, some planets in this game are going to be um, uh, only allowed to be colonized, and some planets are going to be only allowed to be taken over. Um, so those things you're still going to have to take into effect when determining the cost to either take over a planet or not. With the Escalation expansion, if everything is if anything is ever getting a little stale, they've actually tossed in a couple scenarios here to kind of spice the game up a bit. These scenario cards are meant to be dealt to a player, and then uh, essentially it'll tell you the type, the name of the scenario, what starting roll cards that you'll have, the starting technology you'll have in place, and also the starting planet. Um, so, this is, for instance, Scorched Earth, you'll have uh, two surveys, one warfare, two colonizes, no trade or resources, two politics cards, one research. You start off with the one iron producing metallic planet and with the technology of the Scorched Earth policy. Um, so, 
these again are going to be able to change the flow of the game pretty drastically by uh, by changing uh, what a player starts with while playing this game. So I've said before in our previous uh, uh, Imminent Domain video um, that uh, Imminent Domain is a deck builder, but it's also one that's sort of unique in its experience where it allows players to interact with one another off of one of another's turn. Um, so it's not just me waiting around to play my hand. You get to play stuff, I get to play stuff. We can still descent or follow, and with the new mechanics added to this game, there's even a more... Uh, uh, more options for us to do to one another or for one another or rather uh, against one another um, in order to really kind of up our strategy game and it really is going to provide I think a more visceral playing experience if you get this expansion. It's uh, I think uh, MSRP is $25 right now you may be able to find it for cheaper on uh, some websites but check your brick and mortar stores first always shop local uh, see if your crew has it locally um, again, if you're a fan of deck builders, I think Eminent Domain is a terrific one to play. It is, I love the theme, I love the, spec the, the whole space mechanics. I love the fact that I can do things, I can make decisions on your turn, and it keeps me involved in the game rather than just kind of waiting to play my hand. Um, and I've said that probably a thousand times in this video, so I apologize for the redundancy. But it's something worth mentioning, because it really is going to separate this from a lot of the things. This adds player number five, adds some very cool things that I, I think this, if you like the original, I think this is just a very natural buy for a lot of players. So if you have it, let me know. If you like it, let me know. And as always, if you do like this video rather, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and more importantly, game on.